Hey everyone and welcome to another video and another home theatre update. There's not been a great deal that's been done since last time, uh, since my last update video, but there was one thing that was kind of in the back of my mind and I was debating over whether or not to do this particular update that I've actually seen on some other people's builds and that is to add some ambient lighting. So as you can see, I now have ambient lighting running the entire sort of lower portions of the room, all the areas where it's going to actually be seen. And the main reason for that was for the actual entrance. Whilst I do have the lighting underneath the seats, um, when it comes to a full dark room setup, um, generally we don't tend to actually use those. Uh, the back seats, it doesn't actually make a difference if I have them on whilst we're watching something because most of the light is actually blocked out by the back of the seats. I did see a few other people's builds where they did have some, some LEDs running either vertically or horizontally at some point in their room and the, the front sort of area, the amount of LEDs that I had there didn't really do enough uh, in terms of lighting up the room and one of the reasons um, I went for this sort of setup is because of how I've actually got my Zidu player set up so whenever I pause it it'll actually turn on the LEDs now I'll close the curtains in in a second I just wanted to start the video where you can actually see the sort of proportions of the room and the, the layout and everything so if I just come into the iPad and if I disable the floor LEDs you'll see what I mean. So at the moment, obviously you've got the red and the blue border around the actual screen. It doesn't really do a lot and especially it doesn't do anything as far as projecting into the, the back of the room. And obviously since I've reversed this door, I wanted it so then we can basically find our way in and out quite easily, as well as adding a nice sort of ambient uh, light uh, for the actual entrance itself. If I just show you so this is the sort of light output that you're getting on the entrances as you can see it's going to bounce off the seats it's going to give a nice effect to that it does also blend in with the the sort of leds under the seats quite well as well depending on what light setup i choose or what color setup it can have quite a drastic effect the red that i'm actually using right now is actually the the sort of dullest color so i do have it on 100 percent uh just so that i'm actually making the most of the leds but the red is actually the sort of uh, the dullest out of the, the sort of three main uh, primary colors. If we go to the blue, instantly you'll see, I mean, even on camera, even with the, the curtains open, you'll, you'll be able to tell straight away that that is a lot, lot brighter. And we can go to green. Once again, that's a really nice effect. It adds somewhat different to the room. And the problem that you get with either the blue or the, the green is, it starts to actually hide the the LEDs under the, the seats because they just can't keep up. Um, if I go to the blue in particular, what you'll notice is that sort of blue there, before you put them on, that looks really rich and really blue until you put these ones on and then you realize what true rich blue actually looks like. And this almost looks like a turquoise, uh, not turquoise, sorry, um, a sort of uh, a teal sort of color. Um, it doesn't look a rich blue anymore. And then the ones that I wanted to actually keep it on was the white, but the white is so intense. I could obviously turn it down a bit, but what I find is when I'm actually pausing it, that it really blasts into your eyes from the sides. Um, and originally I just had that, the strip there, and then I added the strip there, because the idea was just to add some light for the actual entranceway itself but then it was too much light on this side, so I wanted to just balance it out. So I did actually do, if you look, I did run it all along underneath the radiator and around this corner, and I stopped it there because basically you're not really gonna benefit from anything behind there. Similarly, on this side, I only actually extended it uh, slightly behind the actual um, seating at the back, so because you're not really gonna see anything beyond that anyway. So what I'll do now is I'll just close the curtains and I'll give you an idea in terms of how it actually looks. Okay, so we're back. Curtains are now closed. As you can see, there is still a little bit of ambient light coming in, um, but it's not enough to actually affect the screen because of how bright the actual projector is. Um, in the video, the screen's colors might look off. So 
it kind of overcompensates on red for some reason whenever you look at it back through the iPhone recording. In person, I can guarantee you it's not like that. So for example, the avatar icon just there, it's not just the fact that you've got a red light bouncing up and that might be interfering. Um, because if I just turn it off, you can see that it's reduced it slightly, but it still looks more reddish than it actually is. Yeah, so it does, it does add a little bit of red wash, essentially, uh, color wash to the actual image, but I can guarantee you that that in person is not like that. And obviously right now it is adding a little bit of ambient light to the image, which is never there when we're actually playing anything because I actually have the Zidu player set. So then whenever I press play, it will turn off all the lights. So whether it's the ceiling light, whether it's any of the LEDs, it turns it all off. Um, I'm just doing this to demonstrate what it actually looks like and I will show you in a second as well uh, later in the video what it actually does in terms of play pause as well. So as you can see um, with the rear seating lights on it on the camera it actually looks a lot more intense than it does in person so this blue sort of shadow here um, you don't actually see that as much it's not shining that far in in reality that's just the camera kind of doing magic and picking out light where there isn't any um just looking at the screen if i just try and focus in uh on the on the phone screen it looks like you can't see any of the actual leds i can tell you unfortunately in person you can actually see them slightly but what i did do was i angled the leds down so it's only the very top edge that you're actually seeing. Um, if I just come into my seating position, so this is the sort of um, light that you will see on the sides. And what we'll do now is we'll just switch through a few different colors. So here to the blue, and as you can see, that's really, really intense. We'll switch it up to the green. And at the moment, I'm only affecting the, the floor LEDs. I can choose to actually change everything all in one go, but I, I prefer to actually have different colors um, for each one. That's purple. And obviously I can, I can choose any color from, from this color wheel, but these are just the sort of presets that I've got selected. And then that is the white. As you can see, that is really, really bright. Um, the white is actually good for me for any of my videos where I wanna just add some extra light in the room or if I want to just showcase a product because it does actually spread quite evenly from both sides. So that's actually quite good for that. If we come back around, yeah. So as you can see, it's 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 kind of showing up on camera far more than you do actually see in person. So as you can see, the front ones are virtually indistinguishable. Even if I open that seat a little, you can't really see that. This is the main reason I actually choose to keep them on red because that way at least you, you do get a little bit of contrast from the blue of the actual seat uh, LEDs. So yeah, like I said, that, that's not as bright in person as it is on the camera, but it do, you can see it. It's not like you can't see it at all. So this is what I was mentioning earlier on. So if I extend this seat out, um, if this was any of the front seats, then it would be washing out the screen. But as you can see on, on the back ones, it doesn't really affect it because of the fact that I have actually relocated these LEDs. So they're no longer shining forward, they're shining down. So I've actually stuck them onto the bottom of the screen, uh, so, sorry, the bottom of the seats, rather than uh, the front lip of that as they normally are. If I just open this one, you'll see what I mean. So as you can see, these ones are actually stuck to the front, so they actually project forwards. Whereas those ones, because those seats are lifted, I could actually relocate them um, to the bottom of the that, that sort of rail, and it still gives me the effect. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll just play something, and I'll show you the effect in terms of what it does with the LEDs as soon as I hit play. So if I just hit play now, As you can see, it, it does do that thing where it kind of flashes on and off. So if I just pause that, 
as you see the LEDs come on automatically and if I hit play they turn off automatically pause again so obviously that that sort of display comes up whenever I pause it it does turn all the LEDs on and if I go to stop I do actually have it set currently to turn on the LEDs for a certain period even when I stop it because right now so if I hit play so it's kind of playing at the moment you have no no light in the back of the room um, you can have obviously your floor LEDs but that's not really doing much and then if I stop it it will actually turn all the LEDs on and if I actually turn the Zidu player or the projector off then it will actually turn uh, all the LEDs off and depending on whether it's uh, before sunset or after sunset it will also turn on the ceiling light so before sunset it won't turn on the ceiling light if I turn the projector off after sunset then it will actually automatically turn on the ceiling light turn off all the LEDs and basically get the room ready for me to leave um, I can also set this to set whatever temperature I like and I can also set it to control the air purifier as well that's the only thing that's left in the room that's still white so I need to do something about that I did see an older video where I still had the radiator uh, white and it made such a big difference to the room when I actually changed that to black let's just hit that back onto white so yeah that is the update for today um, it's more just a sort of look thing actually yeah that's one last thing so I wasn't really happy with the way that the cable used to trail just there so I did get some of this velcro covering um, now the issue is because my carpet's so thick the velcro doesn't actually stick to the the pile because it can't actually get down into the pile to stick to it but if you just keep it like that it, it looks a lot neater than just having one trailing cable uh, the cable that actually goes to the seats that's what piles up all the seats um, so yeah that's the update for today uh, there is a little bit of mess in that corner but I'm not really too concerned about that because that sub will eventually move over I will be replacing this media console and hopefully adding a second sub on that side I need to actually create a custom media console because I want the Marantz below where the projector is I have to keep it the same height but it can go a lot lot deeper because currently there's actually quite a bit of space behind there that is being wasted um, i can't make the media console any higher because then it would actually cut into the speakers so if you look at that right now it's basically it's not ideal because you're still going to get a little bit of reflection off the top of the projector in terms of the sound but it's it's better than having it actually obstruct it um, and I don't want to do what a lot of people do with uh, ultra short throws, which is put their center speaker below. Um, that just won't work for me. So yeah, that's that's the current setup. I will have some additional videos coming. So I do have a new uh, sofa baton remote that they've sent out. So I will be trying that out. I will have a separate unboxing and sort of review video for you on that. Um, and I will also have a video coming of what it's actually cost all in for the actual setup, um, a full breakdown. So I will also have a review coming for the seats as well. I, I was supposed to do one earlier, but I decided not to because I thought it would actually be a lot more useful for people to see a sort of long term review rather than just having something that everybody else does within a few weeks or months of actually getting them where they're not broken in and you've not really experienced all the good and the bad points of the actual setup at that point so that's the current setup i will have more videos coming as and when i do any updates it's been quite a while since i last posted anything so i wanted to just put something out there um, i was originally going to post one once i actually started doing this but then i wanted to actually complete it uh, get it, get all of the LEDs completed before I actually uh, post a video with with an update. So that's basically what I decided to go with. Um, I will have more videos coming. So if you do have any questions, post them down in the comments. If you have already done so, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And thanks very much for watching.